sentencing phase of convicted serial killer Anthony Sowell's trial resumes Monday, with Sowell expected to take the stand. Today, more testimony from Sowell's psychiatrist. Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now with what was said in court. Ron? Well, Dr. George Woods testified that Sowell was abused growing up. But today, the jury learned about two important pieces of evidence. First, a checklist filled out by Sowell himself back in 1990 when he first went to prison. Prosecutor Rick Bombick also pointed to a second report prepared when Sowell was released from prison in 2005. Neither document contained any evidence that Sowell was abused as a child. The jury saw this handwritten checklist filled out by Sowell when he first went to prison for a 1989 attempted rape. Prosecutor Rick Bombeck quizzed Sowell's psychiatrist, who once suggested Sowell had an abusive home life. He never attempted to run away, and all forms of abuse and neglect were denied. Yes. Bennett got along well with his parents, left home at age 18 to join the Marine Corps, in general, he described his childhood as good. Yes. All right. So, um, I'm sure there are more. Contradiction to what you put in your report, correct? Right? That's correct. I mean, it is a contradiction. Absolutely. And with contradictions like that, Bombic questioned just how truthful Sowell really was during his psychiatric evaluation by Dr. Woods. This is a man who is sitting in a jail cell facing 11 counts of aggravated murder and has all the time in the world to think about his predicament. You got to take what he says as a reporter with a grain of salt, do you not? Absolutely. <laughs> Was there any salt left in your salt shaker? That's an interesting rhetorical question. Well, something else was found in that 1990 report. Sowell said that he believed all women just tell lies. Again, defense attorneys are now saying Sowell himself will take the stand on Monday. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you what's inside Anthony Sowell's Marine Corps records. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.